Hi everyone, today we will look at Amazon Polly, which is uh, another natural language processing service from the Amazon, which can convert your text into, let's say, voice or a audio or a speech. The typical use case will be, let's say, you have a blog article and you also want to generate the audio out of it. And, you know, every month you can have a 5 million characters converted to, let's say, audio. We have also covered the two other services earlier. One of them was called Amazon Comprehend, which can take the text and, you know, extract sentiment, entities and key phrases out of it. Other service we look at, you know, TextRat, which is like an OCR, optical character recognition service, which can take any scanned document, like maybe your image, PDF file or any application form and can extract the text and even tabular data out of it. And we have seen uh, both of them. So let's look at uh, the Amazon Poly. So you can simply, you know, dashboard, you can search for, let's say, Poly. And if you click on Amazon Poly, then you will, you know, uh, came across this particular console where you can type any text and even check how does, you know, Amazon Poly sounds. You can select your language here. You can decide what kind of a voice do you want to use? Do you want to use a female voice, male voice? And there are different variations in that particular voice. So let's say if I, this is the default text I get here. And if I click on listen. Hi, my name is Joanna. I will read any text you type here. So you could see, right, it is able to read this text, convert it into the audio. And this was the female voice. Similarly, you can have, let's say, the male voice and it can do the same thing. Hi, I'm Matthew. I will read any text you type here. I hope you are able to, you know, uh, listen the audio that I'm, uh, you know, uh, listening. So you can even give your own, uh, you know, sample text. Let's say I'm copying this particular thing and uh, type here and then it will. Amazon Polly uses deep learning technologies to synthesize natural sounding human speech so you can convert articles to speech. Right. So this is an idea. You can see whatever the voice you can like. And now the next thing is we want to access this thing programmatically. So we're going to use the Photo3 library, similar, right? The, the one we have used for the other services. So the Photo3 library is a client library for the Python using which you can connect to the different Amazon web services, whether it could be Amazon Poly, a Comprehend, or even your S3 bucket. So that's what we're going to do. And then we can use the Boto3 client and we want to, which service we want to access, the Poly. And we have to give region name, the access key and secret key. So let's create one, you know, uh, I would say let's create one user specifically for the Amazon Poly and we will give it the required permission to that user. So this is like uh, IAM, which is, I think, identity and access management of AWS, where we can create some users here. Let's click on add users. Let's give the name. Maybe I will give the same name, Polly, and uh, we want to give a programmatic access to it. Let's click on next permission. You can attach certain policies or permission to this particular user. So let's click on attach policies. And I will search the Poly service and I will give full access to this particular user, Amazon Poly full access. Let's click on next tag, maybe the review and let's create the user. Now user got created and since we have given it its programmatic access, we can see we have some access key and secret key. Let's copy first access key. I just copied it. Let me go to the collab and paste that particular access key here. And uh, let me copy the secret key also. Let me double click and then copy this. Okay, now we have access key and secret key. See both the thing. The region is something, right? When you log into your AWS account, uh, this is related to the global, but if you go to the poly and something, you can see we have, you know, different regions here. So this is US East one. That is what, uh, you know, I put there. And this is actually the service name and not the username. Username details are here, credentials. Yeah, this is just a service name. So let's, uh, you know, get that particular client. And we will have the same text that we use, right? Uh, we pick up that text from somewhere here. Yeah, this text we do. So you can see the text actually, which is just the Amazon Poly description, right? And I'm taking a sample code. I just modified it a bit from this particular location. And here you can look at the Boto3 response and request format when you make a request using Python. So when you make a request, you can define the engine, whether there is a standard and neutral uh, engine, two things are there, you know? According to them, this, uh, sorry, not the neutral, it's the neural, uh, let's say using deep learning kind of technology. And it is most natural. So we're going to use this one. 
and the other one is the language you can specify and the other in output format you can have mp3 or other we're going to use mp3 output format and the important thing is the text that you want to pass to uh, convert into the audio and finally the voice ID the different voices it has right there's a lot of options are there that you can choose from uh, male female and you can explore which one is good so these couple of things we're going to pass to it so let's call the poly synthesize speech is the function actually that boto3 function this synthesize speech that is what we're going to call and we're going to pass the text that we want to convert which we declared uh, on the top and the output format definitely we want mp3 and the voice id i just choose joanna i think that's a female voice and so what it will do this particular synthesized speech return a response and that response will have an audio stream so you can access that audio stream and you can write that stream to a, any uh, let's say mp3 file so what we will do we will access that stream which is audio stream object available in the response we will declare one file called output file called let's say speech.mp3 and then we will open that file and simply write in this file we will write the stream that we are getting so we're going to read that stream and write to this particular file so eventually we got the stream or the audio written to this particular file right that's what we're going to do and let's run this statement so when it runs successfully we will have you know uh, that thing written to the speech.mp3 maybe we should be able to see that file yeah here you can see we have speech.mp3 so using you know ipython display we can um, you know import the audio and you can play that audio amazon poly uses deep learning technologies to synthesize natural sounding human speech so you can convert articles to speech with dozens of lifelike voices across a broad set of languages, use Amazon Polly to build speech activated applications. I hope you are able to hear the audio that I'm able to hear from my system, right? Again, as I told you, you can change a different voice here. Maybe where is the, yeah, this voice ID. Let's look at some different voice maybe. There are different, yeah, this seems to be Indian voice. So let me take this thing and where it is. Okay, let me replace with this Aditi and let's run it again and let's play. Amazon Polly uses deep learning technologies to synthesize natural sounding human speech so you can convert articles to speech with dozens of. Okay, so this is how you can, you know, programmatically access the Amazon Polly service using you know, Python and you can have, you know, uh, you can put a business logic around it, right? So I hope you found this video useful. Thank you.